Hello, all my sirs, mates, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad Wheel, and also known as JimmyJ57, and I have a very exciting video for you today talking all about the spring updates that Rockstar has confirmed are going to be coming out over the spring of 2014. Now, this starts from all the way a DLC coming out a week from now to pretty much the end of spring, start of summer, when we'll be getting these. So some of them don't really have time ranges on them, but some of them do. So let's get right into what we have today. Now, the first thing that they announced is that we are going to be getting a capture creator. So people already figured this, it'd like be pretty obvious, why would they not have it? So we're going to be able to create our own capture missions, all those super fun ones like war games that you get to play in the army base, and there's a whole bunch of different capture missions that you can play, and they're just a really fun new game mode that just brings a different kind of aspect. Instead of just playing a straight up team deathmatch, you actually have an objective while killing your friends. So that's always fun. Now this DLC is going to be dropping next week, that is confirmed by Rockstar, so you can expect that within probably the next 10 days by the end of next week. Now the next thing is this big update we are going to be having, similar to the business update where we got new cars, new guns, all that fancy stuff. This update is going to be called the High Life Update, and let me tell you, this is definitely the biggest one that has happened in GTA Online so far. So what this update is going to include is new high-end apartment options. So that means there's going to be new apartments on the map that you guys can buy and use. Now hopefully they're going to be changing up the interior a little bit because right now, as you probably already know, anything over 200k, the inside all looks the same. So hoping on that that we can get some uh, new interiors as well as new map locations for apartments. Now the next thing is a new bullpup rifle. This is going to be a new rifle as you can see here. Similar looking to the Type 25 from Call of Duty, Type 95, whatever you want to call it. Whichever game you're talking about but that is another new gun that they're going to be adding along with some new clothes so we're obviously going to get some new wardrobe that usually comes out with every dlc not the biggest thing here's what you want to hear next now we're going to get be getting three new cars and a motorbikes but so far all i saw on the rockstar newswire is a name of a bike and two names of cars as well as pictures. So right here, as you're seeing on screen, these are the two cars that it has pictures of. There's the Pegasi Zentorno and also the, du the Dubachi Massacro. So I'm not exactly sure if you say that name that way, but anyway, that's all I'm going to say. It's the Massacro. And how I'm thinking the cars are in this picture is the red one. That one is the Pegasi because Pegasi is usually higher end. It says the Pegasi is a, is a supercar. So I'm thinking that's the red one. And then that yellow one you see behind there, I'm, I'm going to guess that's a sports car. And that one would definitely be the Dubachi, either sports or coupes because I know Dubachi has their exemplar and that kind of stuff. So those are new cars. Now there also is a new bike. This one is called the Dinka Thrust Motorcycle. And I don't know if they're including this under the car heading that they talked about in the article they said there's three new cars but i only got to see two of them so that is a mystery up until when this update actually drops we don't know if there's going to be a third car or if those are the three there but anyway cool new motorcycle two new cars we get to see don't get to see the motorcycle or possibly the third car yet but still is really cool now here's the next thing that you guys are probably super excited about is owning multiple properties yes that's right now, along with the new apartment options, you'll be able to own multiple apartments at the same time. Now, it just says multiple, doesn't say two, doesn't say three. So, I mean, if you got the money, you might be able to own three or four. We don't know. But the best thing is that you can own multiple properties all with garages. So, to me, this looks like, hey, I can own two apartments, both with 10 car garages, 20 cars, bam, awesome. Get to keep all my cars, don't need to sell them all the time when I want a different one. So that is really, really cool. Now, the next thing in this update is going to be a new player statistic that you can actually level up. This one is called the mental state statistic. And this one is basically going to be judging how passive or how psychotic your player is. So if you like killing people a lot, you're definitely under the psychotic heading. But if you're more of a you get killed by other people a lot per se, player, kind of like me, you'd be more under the passive heading. So that's another cool thing. That is all in the High Life update. As you can see, very big update coming sometime this spring. So can't wait for that to come out. Now, the next thing, this is the big cheese, the big kahuna everyone's been waiting for is heists. That's right, it's heist. Now, all they've said on this is it's going to be coming out this spring, so it is confirmed by Rockstar. I know, I know all those videos always saying, you know, like, heist is coming out in this update, or heist is coming out in that update. Like, really, they're, they're just view whoring pretty much. Now, Rockstar has finally said, yes, heists are coming out this spring. They've given us a time frame, so you can expect that this spring. Basically, all heists is, if you don't know, is going to be pulling off heists around GTA Online, whether that's robbing banks, robbing stores, or like, you know, 
stealing some information from people, those kind of things. It's going to be pulling off cooperative missions, basically, that have huge payouts and glory, is what it said. So I'm hoping that we're getting some pretty big payouts. Now, the next major thing is stunting. That's right. Now, stunting is back. Uh, like, a little while ago on the last patch, they actually took out stunting. They changed the physics a little bit on how bikes flew in the air, how cars flew in the air. So physics was kind of changed, and all those people doing stunt jumps and stunt montages and stuff, they couldn't do them as well because the tricks didn't quite work with the new physics. But GTA is like, yes, we love our people, sort of, unlike Vonderhaar. So we are going to put stunting back in, put the b old physics back in, and you guys will be able to do cool tricks on your bikes and cars. Now, the rest of these improvements that will be coming out sometime this spring are all community suggested improvements. So I'm just going to read them off. There's three major ones that I found to be would be a good addition to the game. So first one is non-contact races. That's right. If you don't like getting hit while racing, you can actually switch it to a non-contact standard race, not GTA races, not rally races, but non-contact standard race. And basically how, how it's going to work is all your opponents are going to be semi-translucent racers. So you'll be able to barely see their car, but you can actually pass right through them like they're not even there and then therefore not hitting anything. But you can also still hit streets, like street objects, like uh, stores and that kind of stuff, or like poles, trees, and you can also still hit traffic. So it's all based on your driving at that point, but other players will not be able to intentionally hit you. Now, next thing is calling Lester for extended periods of time. So basically, how this is going to work is you can call Lester and you can request, say, two minutes where the cops won't go after you, and for those two minutes, you can do whatever the hell you want. Cops will not come after you. They'll turn a blind eye, and as soon as your two minutes are up, then if you, you know, blow up something, they'll come after you, come looking for you. So that's a really cool way to do it instead of just calling them, getting the cops off you, and then if you do one more thing, you get cops back on you. Now, the final thing, community improvement, is a GTA 5 payouts will be higher for missions or, like, jobs with less than four people. So that one's really cool if you just want to compete with your friends, but you get really low payouts. Like, it's only really good to do get lots of payout, uh, lots of money when you're in big lobbies. Now, if you just want to do small races with your friends, you can still get big payouts. So that's all for today, sirs. I know the video went a little long, but there is so much stuff coming out this spring, so can't wait for all these DLCs and updates to drop. If you, sirs, enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And tell me which update you're looking forward to the, for the most, I mean, heists for me and that High Life update, they seem pretty good. But I mean, I'm excited for all of them. I like doing motorcycle tricks. I like making or like doing capture missions. So why not make them? That'd be even better. So tell me down in the comment section below which one you're looking forward for the most. And I thank you sir, so much for watching. And as always, have a good day.